Well, hello and welcome to I Love Gay Today. And we are diving into the world of sports today. And we are here with my friend, Tom Chris. How are you, Tom? I'm great, Matt. It's great to see you. You too. And Tom is in Orlando. And Orlando is all things Disney. And uh, and of course, their upcoming Gay, Day, Gay Disney weekend that uh, comes up here at the beginning of June. But you've got something special that it's in its second second run, Pride Cup. Um, but tell us a little bit about that. Sure. Yeah, no, we're really ex excited. So in 2018, we got ex inspired to add sports to the weekend. And so I think at the girls, Allison at Girls in Wonderland, had, had considered it as well. And so, you know, we founded this nonprofit, Kindred Pride Foundation. And last year, we produced the first annual Pride Cup. And we had uh, six sports. Yeah. And we had a great, it was great. So, and this year we are adding a couple sports. So I think we're having eight sports this year. Okay. And um, we're really, I, I think, you know, we have a hundred golfers that we're going to, you know, so I think we're going to, you know, do some great stuff. And and on the golf, we're working with the local, the pride chamber, which is part of the NGLCC. Yeah. And so it's benefiting them. So it's really, we're, we're, we're really excited, you know, so we've got kickball, beach volleyball, uh, pickleball is going to be huge too. We're actually, um, last year we hosted it at the USTA national campus here in Orlando, which we're so lucky to have this year, they're doing some construction over there. So we're not going to have the pickleball there, but you know, we've got the high school, which is right next to the park that we're using. And so we're actually going to add the basketball courts for pickleball because we're doing, you know, it's just so popular now. Uh, Pride Cup is part of Kindred Pride. And that's, uh, we just interviewed uh, Allison as part of your team there. And um, that's all about the same weekend with the Red Shirt Challenge. So, uh, and I see you have red in your background. So it seems like it's all very, uh, very unified. Yeah, no, we, you know, Red Shirt Pride Day is a huge, with everything that's happening in Florida right now, who would think that, you know, I was having a discussion with someone and we were talking about since we've been doing this event since 2009, we've celebrated the repeal of Don't Ask, Don't Tell. We, re you know, the celebrated the DOMA. Yeah. And uh, now here we, here we are and we're going backwards. Like what in the world is happening? So it's so important and we really are excited to get people you know, our community and allies to wear red on the first Saturday of June, which happens to be June 3rd this year, yeah. um, and using the hashtag RSPD. Mm -hmm. And um, but uh, flock to Florida and getting people to really stand with Florida. And you mentioned we we're at Miami Beach Pride yeah. and Shangela was there and Sandra Bernhardt. Both of them were there. And, uh, you know, they were they are standing with Florida. And Chandelis said, until I can no longer stand here, I will be with you, Florida, and walking you, you know, you know walking with you. So it's really cool. No, I think it's important. Uh, you know, this is not our all of our first time at the rodeo, so to speak. And uh, and you're at the ground, you're at ground zero. And I think it's important uh, not only for all of us to uh, show our support around the country, you know, with our red shirt challenge that same weekend, but just doing everything we can to be there and uh, be with you and uh because because we you know i think together we can make a difference and make uh make the, and, and look at it long term that it's not going to be this way forever no we have to make a difference you know i mean you know i we've we have been around a little while just you know looking at the camera uh <laughs> but but the reality is is that this is not acceptable i mean we're not going backwards that's not going to happen and and so you know i think sport you know having the pride cup sport kind of transcends a lot of those lines because people, you know, can, can get along in a different way on a sporting field versus, and, and, you know, we've had lots of, of allies playing in gay sports since their inception. And that's because the gay leagues are run so well. And the tournament system is so good that they want to to be a part of it because it's just organized and it's a great way for people to be able to continue to participate and the competition is good you know yeah. no, i know that's why i've noticed that you've got some great partners out there um everything from weho dodgeball out loud sports and so forth so it seems like you really kind of pulled together some of the other organized organizations and uh to make this a success Right. So, you know, we've been to the Sin City Classic now for five years in Las Vegas, and that's a great tournament. And so 
The Pride Cup is very similar. You know, I feel like we're a sister tournament to them in that we have an umbrella and then you bring in the best producers of those events. So, you know, I think we're kind of following up on, on what they're doing. But I will say, in addition to those partners this year, um, the Tampa Bay Rays have already come in and sponsored the event. We're working with the USTA also in Orlando. We're lucky to have the national campus for the USTA here. They're coming in as a sponsor. And then we've had some great calls. And I think the PGA is going to be a part of this. And so how cool is that? We've got a trans uh, golfer, Haley Davidson, that's going to play in the tournament. And so the tournament, not to scare anyone away. So the golf is really going to it's it's a golf outing. It's not a tournament. So let me use the right terminology. And uh, so it's going to be just a lot of fun. So whatever your level um you know, come and participate. But the fact that we're getting the PGA and USTA and, you know, the I think we're hoping Billy Bean will be here from the Major League Baseball. So really having some great support. So you're 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 right in that. And that's what we have to do. You know, we have to continue to push to get more and more people um, involved and, and aware. I love all this. Uh, I'm, I'm even gonna, I'll probably even talk to you later about trying to figure out if I can come down there for that, because, uh, just like last year, I, I've got to go to LA. And so, but it's that same, that weekend. So I can like, I can strategically come to Orlando, then go to or LA from Orlando. So we'll have to see, if we make that work. Well, you've been with us before and we'd love to have you back. So that is for sure. We'd love to have you come back. Well, thanks. And thanks so much for just being here and sharing a little bit about your story and, uh, uh with our audience here. Oh Yeah. Every- we love it. So thank you so much for including us and for the opportunity to, to let people know what we're doing here in Orlando. And, and uh, you know, our hashtag is play with pride. So, you know, anyone interested, it's the pridecup.com. They can find out more and, and we'd love to have as many people as we can get. You got it. Well, thanks again now. All right, Matt, take care. Bye-bye. Okay.